with gas cars, you can just pick up the phone and order something out of a catalog. You know, you can't just pick up a phone and order this stuff. We have to engineer them and make them. And then uh, what happens is uh, a guy that's building an electric car that sees a need and also has the electrical abilities to design, they'll start their own company. Like the guy that builds our chargers, he was an electric car guy like us. And just like us, he was put, fed up with the lack of good charging equipment. That's how he makes his living now. He builds these wonderful chargers. Guy that builds our motor controllers. Well, he used to use other people's controllers. They blew up all the time. They didn't have enough power. He designed a better one. That's how he makes his living now. So there's a whole cottage in this industry where we kind of support ourselves, you know, and it's, uh, that's going to continue to grow. You're at 360 volts? Yeah, and my charger cuts off at 444. Ooh, okay. So what we're dealing with here is that we can set it all up to, for a, a certain car. And it's not that big of a deal, but you have to turn things and adjust things. Well, I've got this all set up for my car and I don't want to take it down and go back all up. You can use that on any voltage you want, but if this is higher voltage than what you're charging, the way it's set up, you just have to keep an eye and watch your gauges. When it starts coming up too high, then we can turn it back down. So What can happen? Oh, you can blow the batteries up. You can, you can destroy the battery pack if you, you know, get carried away and walk away and, you know, Forget about it. But how do, how if it's set up properly, it won't. It'll automatically shut off. <coughs> They're still explain, on. Explain it. Yeah, they'll come down on their own. They kept the... Well, what just happened here is that we hit the over voltage situation that we were talking about. And these are all the regulators that he's designed to protect these very delicate lithium ion batteries. They're tough, but you have to be careful when you charge. And the red lights mean that you've hit an overcharge situation. So th that was a good call on your part to come running through there. I didn't see it. How long were they like that, I wonder? Not that long. Yeah, it won't hurt him. I mean, I yeah. think you're fine. Okay, so Someone now that would have seen them. he's still got now those going still going. Down. Well, but you got the charger completely off right now. Yeah. yeah. So this is the weak pack, which uh, some of those. Yeah. So those it's always the one that comes off last. But the fact all the rest of them on are off means we hit it perfect. Good. I'm gonna make sure that people can shut the gate for me here. Thank you. I love, I love technology, and I like, uh, I like that part of the electric car. And I, I like consider myself a pioneer. And how many times can you be a pioneer in anything nowadays? Uh, you know, there aren't a lot of people doing electric cars, so that appealed to me. And of course, the other good reasons of wanting to do my part about clean air. A lot of people talk about it, but they don't walk their walk. I do. Hi. Hey, good. How are you? Good. Hey, I have a favor to ask. Yeah. I don't know how busy you are, but we're uh, doing some filming. We have the electric cars that were drag racing last night. Okay, saw you guys last night. Oh, good. I thought you might. And we got the electric Daytona. We're going to do a last minute we uh, wheelie bar thing on. Okay. We need we need a lift. Can we you buy some lift, lift time from you? How can we do that? Uh, how long? Probably an hour. Hour. Or whatever we can get away with. Okay. We're going to take off at uh, two thirty. 45 minutes. So if we did it like right away, we could do it, right? Yeah. How many guys need to be in the shop? Whatever you say. If okay. you want two people, that's what just, it'll just be. Just a couple of people. Okay, how, can, when can we do it? Like now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll bring it over. We'll help you guys out. Thanks. Appreciate it. They're lithium. lithium. Yeah. So it's the white car on the right here. He has nothing to it, but it's four door. <laughs> That's a lot of batteries. <laughs> How long does it take to charge it up? When we race, we charge in between runs, and it takes about 15 minutes. No way. 
You know, if we've driven it 30, 40 miles, it takes about 45 minutes yeah, to fill up. Awesome. So it's not quite as fast as gas, but as far as fill up, but yeah. good enough. You know? So the cars that they start using right now, some of them, how are they going to fill up? I mean, they would come up to gas station and wait for 45 well, minutes to Well, no, or? no. here's the thing. If we had, quote, filling stations for electric cars, see, yeah. when we're in our homes, we only have 240 volts times, yeah. right? You could have a filling station with 480 volt feed lines, and you could charge up a car in five minutes. Wow. Jeez. You got to know so much about electricity over here. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of good friends that are geeks. Yeah, pretty you know, much. You look like you're kind of geeked out here. You know? <laughs> Yeah, all this technology. In my You're head. halfway there, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think? Are you sold on the technology? No, still like turbos. <laughs> <laughs>